We meet again. It appears you've made quite a name for yourself amidst all this mess. And yet, as touching as this little reunion is... We're not here to talk. Even after everything we told you, you're still content to be pawns in Bethel's game. I don't know what you see in him. Just watch, and he'll die like any other demon. Hmm. You can see we're a bit divided on this matter. Would you be so kind as to prove my point? be wondering why this battle picked up in the middle of it well I have a confession to make I played the first half while I was making dinner Italian beef sandwiches and where we pick up in this video is where I was eating dinner I didn't expect to make it through because this was like the sixth time that I attempted the fight but apparently something clicked Maybe it was the back and forth while making dinner. Maybe it was something good about the food to carry it through. But anyway, we made it. Enjoy the rest. <laughs>
Are you ready? There.
can hardly believe that. So it's true. You were the one who put Lamu down. All that strength, and you're still content to be Bethel's lapdog. What are you thinking? You've seen what happens to the humans who demons set their sights on. They get twisted, manipulated, broken. Did those demons make anyone's lives better? Or did they ruin everything they touched? Demons are a blot on our world that must be cleansed. If you think they're worth fighting for, then by all means, prove it. Really? Could you say that for the two who died at Lamu's hands? What's the matter? This boy knew the girl who was tempted by Lamu. I watched him fight and struggle to save her, and fail. Not just her. Despite all his efforts, he could not even protect the girl who stood at his side. I see. So... The demons have taken a lot from you, too. The demons are parasites who feed off mankind's pain and weakness. They don't belong in our world. <laughs> Until we meet again.